What's up everyone, my name is Valleys, and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to record a song. Let's go! So the first thing you need to record a song is a laptop, of course, with a DAW. If you don't know what a DAW is, it's basically the program we use to make a song in. You have a lot of DAWs, personally I use FL Studio, you have different ones like Logic, Ableton, Pro Tools, and even BandLab, which is on your phone for free. So if you want a free one on your phone, BandLab is a pretty good one. The next thing you need is a microphone. I suggest that if you're starting out, you buy a USB microphone because they're cheaper. But if you want to improve your quality, I suggest you buy a XLR mic. If you buy an XLR mic, you also need to buy an interface, an audio interface. Otherwise, you can't connect it to anything. So personally, I have a Rode NT1A microphone and a Focusrite 2i2 interface. You don't want your room to sound muddy, so I have these panels on the wall you can purchase as well. So it makes your room less reverby. And you need headphones, otherwise you can't hear yourself record pretty standard okay next up we're gonna choose a beat so what i normally do is just go to youtube you have a lot of youtube producers that make beats so you can just type in juice roll type b or gonna type b drake type b whatever beat you want and then you can just download the beat so what i'm gonna do right now is look for a beat so you'll just go here type in let's say juice roll type b perfect you can just scroll and look for a beat let's say we get this one i don't know why but let's get this one so what you can do is just download the beat and then you can drag it into your fl studio so let's do that right now now we have the beat in fl studio if you download off youtube there's one thing you need to change like there's this little empty space that's in the beginning it's because it's an mp3 file next thing we have to do is set the bpm so what i normally do is just drag it like this i think it's a 190 bpm or 80 you can also do half of it what you also need to record is a vocal preset there are some artists that sell their vocal preset i'm one of them you can just type in vocal preset for fl studio in youtube if you don't want to use mine but i have mine linked in the description so you're going to get the preset and then what you're going to do or what i normally do is go to 10 click on the top right and input 2 because my microphone is an input 2 then i'm gonna connect it down here to insert 2 uh i have the preset right here yeah you're just gonna select the preset now you have the preset ready what i normally do if i record a song i just think of a subject and then i write some words down that are connected with that subject choose a subject that is personal and you have experience with so you sound a little bit more honest because there are a lot of rappers that talk about i got bitches i got money i got shit in my pockets i shoot but they're not living that lifestyle so it's a little bit fake so if you want to think of a subject you went through like it could be sad it could be happy it could be i don't know your school i don't know you can talk about a lot of things but if you have experience with it it's going to sound a lot more honest so i recommend choosing a subject that you've been through you know as you can see you have the beat here so what you normally have in a beat is the intro then you have a pre-chorus so you can just put some build up or you can also rap there already after that you have the hook this is the hook so you put the most catchy flow the most catchy lyrics in the hook uh, which talk about the subject and then after that you have the verse pretty verse right here normally in the verse what i do is i go a little bit more in depth of the subject so let's say here i have uh i talk about i don't know let's say i make a song about showering so here i just repeat the word shower 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 wet and all that don't know why i chose that subject but in the verse you go more in depth in that subject so you're going to talk about how the water is dropping on the floor and like you go a lot more in depth basically then you have another hook and you're gonna, just gonna copy and paste the first hook into the second hook then what a lot of artists do is they also rap the second verse but i've been seeing lately like the last two years a lot of artists don't make a second verse because the song will be shorter and people will replay it more so you have more streams but you can also make a second verse it's it's what you decide and then you can put another hook right here you can just copy it over again so what you want to do if you want to record lyrics so what you're going to do is turn this on and you can just click this button right here and it's gonna record so you can just la 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 so now it's recorded something um vocals so what you're gonna do is just record the whole song sentence by sentence it's called punch in recording a lot of people do that if you want a good tutorial on how to punch in let me know in the comments i'll make a video about it so after you've done the main vocals so for example you have the main vocals let's say here like everywhere blah 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 main vocals what a lot of people do is also ad libs. I recommend doing ad libs. So then you're gonna record ad libs under it. So ad libs are gonna be like the yes, the woes, the 
you like for example you say shower and then you're gonna be like shower you get what well, ad libs are if you want a tutorial on ad libs also comment after you record the main vocals and the ad libs you basically have this full song done after that you can master the song you don't have to but you can master the song you can either get a plugin that masters your song you can send it to someone to master and then after that you can upload it to youtube spotify soundcloud wherever you want you can just upload it by the way if you want to learn a lot more about making songs and all that just search your problem or your question on youtube there are a lot of videos that cover that question basically and you can just watch all those videos i did that as well and i generated over 4.6 million streams on spotify alone so like it works just search it on youtube and watch a lot of tutorials before i end the video i want to say that i'm dropping a music video of my song lessons the song is already out so you can check it out in the link in the description but yeah music video coming soon basically thank you for watching and i hope you have a good day and i'll see you guys in the next video which i'll probably make a hook and if you want to watch this video right here you can do that as well it's probably me making a hook want to see that you'll see the recording process as well all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace